Hey, my ladybugs, I hope you're all having a great week so far. I'm here at Coldwater Canyon. It's a beautiful hiking trail right in the middle of Los Angeles. And it was one of the first really brisk, cool mornings we've had in a long time. So I had to get outside and enjoy it. And I always just, you know, decompress here and any stress just melts off. And speaking of decompressing, I wanted to share with you guys something I wrote on the Sanctuary of Style Facebook page the other day that seemed to resonate with a lot of people. And I really just encouraged everyone to let go of the stress, the negative things that happen throughout the day and not taking them to bed with them at night. Are you like that? Do you seem to have a hard time sleeping because you keep replaying all of the negative things that happen. Maybe, you know, you got in a fight with your husband or your boyfriend or a colleague sent you a nasty email or a crazy driver cut you off or, uh, you know, whatever it was, maybe it was all those things, you know, they seem to accum accumulate throughout the day and it's really difficult for us to shut our minds off and not replay all of that negativity. And trust me, I, Oh, I've dealt with this for so long. I have one of those minds that just cranks and I find it really hard to shut my mind off. And I really don't have trouble falling asleep. I actually go to sleep pretty early, but it's staying asleep that I have a problem with. Do you find that you're waking up at 2 and 3 a.m. thinking about all that stuff? It's like this, you know, constant CD that's just on repeat in your mind. And of course you wake up, you're totally exhausted because you didn't sleep well and you wake up with, with that angst. You've carried that angst and negativity over to the following day. And I know that Ambien and those types of sleeping pills are the most sold prescription right now on the market. And truly the best sleeping aid is peace. It really is. So at the end of the day, don't go to your computer, don't be on social media or texting, all those types of things. Don't watch the news <laughs> right when you're going to sleep. Give yourself a moment to let it all melt off. You know, a, a hot bath does wonders and you'll find that you're staying asleep, you're waking up the next day rested, recharged, and the lack of sleep is really the worst thing for aging, speeding up the aging process. When we sleep, that's when our body rejuvenates and heals itself. So I just encourage you today that if, if you're having an issue with this, I've really been diligent, not perfect. I still have my nights, but I'm really trying to make an effort to be calm and peaceful at night and just focus on all the beautiful moments that I had that day, the wonderful people in my life, the things that made me laugh that day, the happy moments, and you'll find that you're sleeping like a log and you're waking up ready to tackle a new day. So leave a comment below. Let me know if this is an issue for you and if you have found some tools uh, that help you get a better night's sleep the natural way. All right, thank you so much for being part of this journey with me. I always am so grateful for all your comments and I love that, that you're opening up and I encourage that. This is a safe place for everybody and there's no judgment. So uh, have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you next time.